Hey YouTube, it's your girl Queen P. You already know what it is. I'm back with another video. You feel me? Excuse, excuse, excuse the glare. But this video is basically going to talk about motion sickness. Yes, I deal with motion sickness, y'all. Um, it is like the most craziest thing that happens to me. Okay, so the first time, um. I experience motion sickness and motion if you don't know what motion sickness is motion sickness is um, it's caused by traveling whether it's in a car a plane a boat whatever mo whatever mobile thing you are in can you know cause motion sickness or whatever um it is a condition characterized by a disturbance of the inner ear or the labyrinth resulting in a spatial orientation as well as an impaired sense of balance and equilibrium so it knocks my balance off and my equilibrium off as well it is caused by repetitive motion um such, such as a movement of a vehicle plane car whatever you know you're riding in um for me um for me, how I experienced it is in a car. Um, my first time, well, when we, my first time experienced motion sickness is when I, when we ro drove to Louisiana from Texas, which is eight hours um, from where I live. It's eight hours, and we like to drive, well, my boyfriend likes to drive at nighttime um less traffic i guess i don't know texas is never less less traffic um but he likes to drive at nighttime so um that was my first time ever experiencing that um when we first moved down here i didn't even experience that when we first had to drive down here i didn't experience that we went a couple of more times um back to louisiana i didn't experience that this is the only time that i had experienced that when we had went back we had went to a family funeral and I had experienced motion sickness. And y'all, if y'all don't have motion sickness, I'm so glad and proud about that. <laughs> because how it makes me feel when, you know, I'm riding for long periods of time or it recently just started again, like um, the other day, when I had to go to work, I draw, I worked 30 minutes away and my boyfriend got off late. So he didn't get back here until like six o'clock. So I didn't get to work until like a little bit after seven, I believe. And my eyes already bother me at nighttime when I'm driving. So since my eyes bother me at nighttime, sometimes when I'm driving, it, it freaks me out a little bit. So, um, some symptoms of you know, motion sickness is fatigue, not um, nausea, dizziness, um, things like that, um, uneasiness. That's how I really feel when I'm driving. Um, I always thought when you have motion sickness, it was because you didn't feel safe with the other person driving. That's when, what someone had. Well, I think I read that that you don't feel safe, but I feel safe with my man driving, of course. But um, because that can't be it because when I drove home the other night I was feeling started feeling motion sickness and it's not okay to feel motion sickness when you're in control of a vehicle on a highway with multiple cars it, it is the worst feeling ever 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 to me in my opinion and how I feel is how I feel when I'm on weed I'm not even being funny y'all because if y'all ever smoked weed before in your life, sometime in your life, you know you get that that calmness over your body. You get that um, relaxation over your body. You feel numb. You know, you feel like um, when you try to touch something, you feel like it's kind of not there. You know what I'm saying? I don't, it's, 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 it, this is just how I feel about it. When you touch and stuff, it feels like it's not there or something like that. It feels so weird. So when I'm holding on to the steering wheel and I'm feeling, you know, I'm starting to get motion sickness, I feel like the wheel is not there. Or I feel like I'm pushing on the gas 
but I feel like I'm not pushing on the gas. So I'm going like, I feel like I'm going slower than what I really am going. You know what I'm saying? And it's so freaking weird. If you guys experience motion sickness, I know someone who experienced it, comment down below and let me know how they got over it. If there's certain medications you got to talk, if you take, if you got to talk to doctors or something like that, because this is not a good feeling to have, especially if you're a driver. Um, and you know it's scary it really is scary especially having you know problems seeing at night um um when you're driving and also um the lights blind you from you know the um brake lights and the um the people's um headlights you know what i'm saying so it's a really scary situation if you have motion sickness and um you know, but I have to do what I have to do. I have to get to work. You know what I'm saying? Um, and it was so crazy because I haven't experienced that in so long. So when I had that, I didn't know what was going on because, I mean, it's just, it, it, it just, I don't know, you know, how to really explain it. But how I feel is it just feels like, you know, like your balance is off, your equal, equilibrium is off you know what i'm saying and you know and it just really it really bothers me more at night time but um if i go in the day i'm pretty i'm good in the daytime you feel me i'm good driving in the daytime um even like around like 4 35 o'clock you know i'm 5 30 i'm good you know what i'm saying um but yeah, it was really crazy because, you know, I experienced that. That was like the second time I experienced that. And I'm just like, I can't be experienced that. I can't be, you know, driving 30 minutes to work, you know, getting motion sickness when I'm like probably in the third lane from, I'm third in the third lane, you know what I'm saying? Getting motion sickness, you know, I can't like speed to the lane to like, you know, try to pull over, you know what I'm saying, you know, and that's not going to work e either, you know, um, I'm, I'm also really scared of, like, heights and stuff like that, um, oh my god, so when we have traffic in Texas, we got to stop, uh, sometimes we have to stop on bridges, and if you ever stopped on a bridge or ever been on a bridge, standing on a bridge, and cars are going by, the bridge moves, it like vibrates um and it's the scariest i don't understand how how people do it i, I don't know you know it's the scariest thing like i don't like heights i like i hate stopping on bridges when it comes to traffic because i just it just feels so weird because like with my motion sickness when we're driving it feels like the car is still it's so weird. I feel like when I'm driving and I have motion sickness, I feel like the car is basically its own person. You know, I just feel like there's no security. You know what I'm saying? It's so weird, y'all. Um, but, um, yeah, it's crazy. I really probably need to talk to somebody or see what kind of medications they can give. They, um, they was saying something about a scopa, scopolim patch whatever it is but I don't have nausea when I have mo when I get motion sickness I don't get nausea or dizziness or nothing like that I just feel uneasy you know what I'm saying that's that's how I feel I just feel uneasy you know um and um it's just it's just a really crazy thing um so they also say some people outgrow it and you know a lot of stuff happens when you have more they say like when you get in a car accident or something like that you know can cause motion sickness i don't know so it says approximately 33 percent of people experience motion sickness in mild circumstances so mine is mild such as driving in a car on a smooth road um and up to six 66% experience in severe conditions, being on a boat, um, turbulence waters. That's when, you know, when you're on a boat and people, like, actually vomit and throw up. That's really, 
you know the severe kind um amusement park rides um so yeah it's just i mine i do feel like mine is a mild um it's mild right now i hope it stays mild i hope it leaves basically i hope i get rid of it um because like like i said when we're driving i feel like i'm not moving i do like i feel like i'm not moving i'm moving but i feel like i'm not moving it's just the weirdest feeling when you have motion sickness you feel like you're moving but you're not i mean you're moving but you feel like you're not moving and when i'm driving you know especially when it's traffic and you're going at a certain speed because there's so many cars and people are going like 65 when it's like you know 70 miles per hour or something like that that also makes me feel uneasy because i don't i don't like go over the speed limit but i want to like when i get motion sickness i want to feel like i'm moving fast but if i start moving fast it starts feeling weird too i don't know how to explain it y'all but motion sickness is a bitch that's all i'm gonna say it's a bitch and if you don't have it kudos to you kudos to you because y'all can drive hours and hours and you know what i'm saying i can't i can't i can't do it because it's it's just the it's a the weirdest feeling that sh that you feel to me it's the weirdest feeling you know and um it, it scared me it really did scare me um i don't know i like when we was driving to louisiana i i couldn't move like i could not move because i didn't want to move i felt like if i move i was gonna fall out the car it is so weird having motion sickness i really do feel that like when i like i just feel numb when i'm riding for a long period of time even though 30 minutes isn't a long period of time and i don't understand why that happened like that but that was crazy but i know when we drove that eight hours i did not want to move i really wanted to sit in one spot if i like moved or like try to look at my phone or something like that i felt like i was gonna fall out the car it is so fucking crazy. It's the craziest feeling in the motherfucking world. Um, Cause I really don't know how to explain it right. I just know the feelings I get when, you know, that happens. But um, I just wanted to come and let y'all know and just, you know, give y'all a little, you know, information about me, you know little something little little something something about me you know what i'm saying that i deal with um i really hope and pray that i get out of this that i overcome this that it outgrows me or i outgrow it because i don't like that i don't like that feeling especially when i'm driving i do not like that feeling um i really hope that i get over this because i want to travel you know what i'm saying probably not by car you know what I'm saying all the time, but I want to travel. You know, I never had motion sickness when I rode in a plane before. Um, and I rode in a plane twice. I never had motion sickness or nothing like that. Um, so I really hope that this is just geared to car traveling because um, I haven't been in a plane since I was younger. Um, so I don't know how that experience will go now that I'm, you know, experiencing this. So, um, hopefully, you know, it, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't, um, but yeah, your girl got motion sickness and it's a bitch, <laughs> it's a bitch and I don't, I don't wish this on nobody. I don't wish it's on my worst enemy because it's so crazy. I know it's just motion sickness, but if you ain't been through it or, you know, going through it, you do not understand that you would not wish this on nobody because it's crazy. It's, it's a real crazy ass feeling. But anyways, I just wanted to come and share that with y'all. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe to your girl. If you are not already subscribed, what are you doing? Um... So yeah, and I'll see y'all in my next video.